So you might know I spend a lot of time on social networks, on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn, uh, tuning up my friends, figuring out who should be my friend, figuring out, meeting them and adding them in. But we need more tools to figure out who our connections are, particularly for uh, people who aren't as socially adept as I am. And that's what Discoverly does, and we're gonna take a look at it right now. Hi, yeah, I'm Ted Summy, founder and CEO of Discoverly. Um, prior to starting Discoverly, I was at Salesforce for five years. Uh, first part, I was on their M&A team, and then I moved over to the Chatter product management team to work on some of the social enterprise characteristics of Salesforce. So you, you're all familiar with so social then, seeing it from the inside, right? Yeah, yeah, we thought about it a lot of time when I was in the M&A team, what are the certain partnerships we can make or acquisitions we can make just to facilitate social in the enterprise. And then when the Chatter team was being spun up, I seized the opportunity to jump in there and help, help build that product. And some of the things that we're building with Discoverly were some of the gaps that we saw in the, in the chatter arena that we could go outside the social graph, outside the company's graph to see the connections outside the company. Who, who's Discoverly for then? Discoverly is for anyone that's looking to network and engage with others. Um, oftentimes we're being used by people that are recruiting uh, other talent. Um, on the reciprocal side, people that are job searchers that are looking for warm intros for, for jobs. Um, and of course, people that are entrepreneurs, salespeople, anyone that's networking heavily for their job on a regular basis or to get a job. Yep, or get some money from a, they can figure out who, who, can, who can get to Mark Andreessen. You know? Yeah, yeah, the warmest <laughs> connection is gonna be your best intro. Yep. So what, what is it that uh, Discoverly does then? Because I, you know, I have Facebook, I have 5,000 friends there, I have 40,000 on Twitter, and I have 12,000 on LinkedIn. Why, why do I need Discoverly and what does it do? Yeah, I think it's for exactly those reasons that we have different relationships and we document them on other systems. Professional relationships are often on LinkedIn, personal are on Facebook, and sometimes the others are in email. And so the idea is when you're looking to get an introduction, you want to find the warmest connection wherever it lies. And so with Discoverly, what we're trying to do is layer some of the best of your social data on top of the other uh, systems as you travel the web. So when I look at your LinkedIn profile, I can normally see our mutual LinkedIn connections, but Discoverly injects our mutual Facebook friends. So maybe I'll consider that for a warm introduction as opposed to LinkedIn. That's smart because uh, I spend a lot more time on Facebook and my connections there are really high quality. And I've, uh, I've because uh, Facebook, limits you to 5,000 and I've hit that limit. I have to uh, remove somebody before I add somebody new in. So I'm always doing this, uh, does, do, I, do I want that person as a friend or not? <laughs> yeah, that sort of first, so, force curation shows you to limit it down. Um, and we're also looking at all these social signals that might signal strength of relationship, not just showing you where the connections are, but where, maybe which one's the longest ones or the strongest ones. Um, look how do you do that? Yeah, we can look at things like mutual friends in common, photos tagged in common, likes and comments on each other's posts, all sort of the stuff that Facebook uses to sort your feed and edge rank. Yeah. We can start to look to, to measure strength of relationship. And so those are some of the things we're evaluating. Facebook uh, is really interesting. A lot of people don't realize, they wonder uh, why, why does it need location data on the Facebook app? But it brings me news based on where I am. And it also brings me friends based on where I am. And so we, uh, I, like I went to Coachella a weekend ago and it showed me all the people at Coachella together. Yeah. And it was like, wow, Jason Calacanis is here, Loic is here, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it, it reordered everything based on where we were. The, to do things in context is, and I think with Discoverly is about a browser plugin. You're giving us a great signal that you're looking at someone's Facebook profile or their LinkedIn profile. Yeah. We're able to take that context to inject more information for you so you don't have to jump away. Yeah. So how would I, uh, um, and maybe we should see it yeah, so great. people can see what it looks like. Uh, why don't we get a little demo and, and talk about maybe if I'm a salesperson or something, I want an uh, introduction into a company. How do I use this and what does it look like and what is it showing me that just LinkedIn alone doesn't? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty simple. It's a 90 second process. You come in and you download a Chrome browser extension. So you can see here on the landing page, find common ground. That's what we're trying to help you do. So you can approach someone with the warmest introduction possible. So you can click in and you can download the, the browser extension um, in one click. And then after that, it's about bringing in your social connections. I can hear from here, start to bring in my Facebook connections. This is going to allow me to layer in my, so my Facebook connections as I travel the web. So that's successfully done. I've already authenticated. And then I bring in my LinkedIn connections so I can see LinkedIn work information as I travel the web. 
And so now I can, it's starting to install. It's already in progress. Um, I can actually now start to go and, and start to use it in action. So say you know I'm a, I'm a sales guy and I'm trying to sell into Dropbox. And so maybe I want to go see who do I know that knows Drew Houston. Yep. Uh, and so normal LinkedIn profiles, I can go to Drew's profile, I can scroll down, and I can see that we have seven mutual LinkedIn connections. Yep. But you're never really quite sure who actually knows, and maybe they met at a conference seven years ago. So maybe you want some extra context. And what I found myself doing was pogo sticking over to Facebook to see if I had mutual Facebook friends. And now with Discoverly, I can hover in context and to see that we have 29 mutual Facebook friends. And maybe I want to leverage one of those connections to get this introduction. Or maybe I just want to look at somebody that's a connected on LinkedIn and Facebook because it's a stronger connection maybe. So it's about giving you more context before you reach out and make that introduction request. Yeah. Is there any way for me to signal to you that I want to be connected up to on Facebook and not LinkedIn? Because I can't stand getting emails on LinkedIn. Yeah, like there's a lot of social awkward or, problems. Or that... email me on scobalizer.gmail.com. I want an email. If, if, if you're pitching a business thing to me, pitch me, me an email, not on these social networks. If you're just saying, hey, Scoble, can I meet you for a coffee? Yeah. Um, that often is better on Facebook because yeah. we're all on Facebook Messenger now, right? And, and chat there is beautiful and you can see that I'm online. Right now I'm not online. I put my phone on, the, on airplane mode for this interview so you know I'm not available. I turn back on my phone, I'm available. Right? Yeah. No, what you're saying is how, how do you make sure that the person when they approach you, they approach you in the most appropriate way. Exactly. And I think some of the context is it's the, the point of the, you're trying to find the warmest introduction. The person that's introducing you knows you better. They're going to know the best way to make this introduction, well, whether maybe. it's an email. Maybe. <laughs> well, I mean, if, yeah, yeah, and that's sort of the idea is it's our goal is to help you find the person that knows them best so you don't have to waste anyone's time getting a weak introduction. Yeah. So it sh keep showing me what, what yeah. I see and, and so, maybe click through to some of those connections and show me what, what, what I see. Yeah, so here's another case to say Howard Lindzen. Um, he's actually an investor in Discoverly, but the case yeah. would be is if we wanted to get an introduction to him as an entrepreneur, get an introduction to his investment. He runs Stock Twits. He's a cool guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I can hover now and see our mutual Facebook friends. And so Alex Barr was actually the one that made the introduction, a mutual Facebook friend of ours. And I can jump through, click through to see his Facebook profile. Now again, the important thing to notice here is that we're not showing me anything I don't already have access to. We're just delivering the, the social data I have access to in context. And so reciprocally, I can see hover here and see his LinkedIn information from Facebook. A great Facebook example is I was invited to a, a party, a dinner party on Facebook. And there was another guest invited who I hadn't yet met. And so I went to his Facebook profile and it was pretty barren. I wanted to find out who this guy was so I could find some context when I had dinner with him that night. And with Discovery, I was able to hover and dis discover that he was a lead engineer on Google Glass. And so I'm able to jump over to his LinkedIn profile and if I was logged in, um, I can jump over and see his LinkedIn profile. And so which that's what we're trying to do. Filled out, which yeah. sort of is a hint that he wants to talk to you more on LinkedIn than on Facebook because he's not a really heavy Facebook user. My, my Facebook profile has like thousands of hours put onto it and it has uh, thousands of photos and lots of data about who I am. My LinkedIn does too, but yeah. I, I want you to come over to Facebook. I, that's where I like hanging out. I don't like hanging out on LinkedIn as, yeah. as much. I think that's a great point is to read those signals of what the person's trying to sell you about how they're presenting themselves in different environments yeah. and how, what sort of content they want to be dis discussing on that environment. Do you help me reorder all of Because I have 12,000 people on LinkedIn and I've added a lot of people that really are low quality. Yeah. You know, it's sometimes even to the lowest quality of spam or whatever, because I was just hitting yes, 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 yes on all, all the requests. Facebook, I'm a lot more uh, judicious about yeah. it, and I remove those people and, and really have jumped up the quality because I can only put 5,000 on LinkedIn. They haven't limited me yet. Um, is there a way to reorder this list based on what your data is showing me and so I can remove some of the low quality ones easily? Yeah, I think the first things that we're talking about doing is the ability for you to maybe pull in your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your email, uh, map those all into one sort of Rolodex of contacts and sort order them by strength of signal between them. Um, and maybe give it to you as a downloadable CSV. So basically let you take your social data and let you do more with it and see it in other ways. And then we'll look at possible ways to sort of bring that back into it to help curate your information. Okay. And how, how are you building a business with this? Because it, it sounds like a feature, not quite a business. Right? How are you going to make a business out of this? Yeah, with Discovery, the plugin, it's basically trying to understand people and relationships better. And you can imagine that relationships are sort of like an ethereal fuel that all a business runs on. And so the more we can interwork that relationship knowledge and that relationship information into your workflow, imagine this browser plugin working within your Salesforce contact page. 
you're looking at a contact, and you're able to see your warmest connections in context. Or you're looking at an applicant, and you're looking for a reference check, you're able to see the warmest connections in context. Um, but tomorrow, we're actually, or on Tuesday, we'll be launching um, well, last week, because this will be a, okay. week from, not a week from now, but yeah, okay. yeah out now. Uh, out now, we'll, we'll be um, also trying to help facilitate the startup ecosystem more, launching some more startup sites like Crunchbase. So if we go back to the demo, I, I can now go to a person like Drew's Crunchbase profile and in context, see our both mutual Facebook and LinkedIn connections in context. In the same regard, if I'm looking at a person like yourself, Robert, on AngelList, I can hover and see our mutual Facebook and LinkedIn connections. Very so cool. it's about taking this social data and layering it in context as you travel the web. Very cool. I got to put more time into AngelList, <laughs> which I haven't been lately, but because I'm not an investor, yeah, but I'm following a few people there. Um, yeah, how are you guys funded? And tell me a little bit about the uh, building of the company. Yeah, yeah. So we're a team of five, um, maybe six. One of our engineers just had a baby last night. Um, we'll <laughs> That's see. one way to hire people. Yeah, some growing talent <laughs> gotta wait, there. Got to wait about 18 years yeah. before you can really get them going. <laughs> you can get some usability testing just how, if she burps or not. Um, so yeah, so we've got a team of five. We've raised about 750 in initial seed. Uh, Salesforce is one of our initial investors, yeah. uh, as well as Howard. Uh, we had some great investors from Atlas who've come in, as well as from Bessemer. Yeah. Um, and so that's where we are today in terms of funding. We'll probably be doing another sort of seed extension um, here shortly. Um, but yeah, we're mostly just excited about getting this product out there and getting feedback. You guys are really not a content man uh, uh, a contact manager like Nimble is. Mm -mm. You're sort of eating at the same kind of problem, but uh, from different places, right? Yeah, we're not we're not trying to get into the CRM business and, and that ring. We think that we can be some critical data that can be layer on top of the. I've actually talked with John at Nimble, uh, and we're in collaboration to talk about how we can eventually work together in the future about. Bring in this. What we're focused on is the relationship information, not less about sort of your personal contact with them. Yeah. Um, but what are your things outside of your organization, outside of yourself? Yeah. Be really interesting to see where you go. Uh, are you working on mobile clients at all, or are, are you just for somebody sitting in front of a desktop? Yeah. Right now it's just desktop. We're really excited about mobile. Um, we can probably do some work on Android before iOS because what we're really trying to do is let you use Facebook and LinkedIn as you do normally and inject ourselves in there so you don't have to change any behaviors. With the iOS platform, it's hard to modify those apps. Mm -hmm. So it would require you to jump out of what you're doing to use Discoverly. And so we're not as, we're hesitant to jump, jump into that at that point, but we're definitely thinking about that. As people, when they're out, they want to be able to network and discover these connections. So that's a good use case. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in. We get it at discoverly.com? Yeah, discover.ly. It's available. Discover.ly. Discoverly. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming in.